Coming up on Metrofile this week, the Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibaju, gives his daughter Oluda Milola's hand out in marriage to Olusheun Bakari. And Kano State comes alive once again for the wedding Fatia of Fatima Dangote and Jamil Abubakar. And the governor of Anambra State, Willie Obiano, rock away with his wife during the ball to celebrate his inauguration for a second term in office. It's another weekend and that to us means only one thing and it's yes. time to switch over to the celebration uh -huh. side of life. And that's what the weekends are for anyway. So Metrofile is always here to ensure that it's not just a weekend but a memorable one. Anyway, how was your week? It was good. It was good. But the Metrofile just tells you it's not all about work, yeah. right? So if you don't get to party this weekend, we're here to just ensure you have the feel of the party. Certainly. Welcome once again to the program. Thank you so much for joining us. Wherever you are around the world, please, if you are a sense of viewer, let's remind you to watch out for flash photography. I'm Anne Mwawadu. And I'm Oge Chukwu. So welcome to the program. And we're starting off right away in Abuja, where we joined the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibaju, to celebrate the wedding of his daughter, Olu Damilola Oshibaju, to Olusheun Bakari. This is one wedding that got lots of people talking because of the people involved and of course the caliber of people who attended that wedding. Although it was a private event, but we have some images from that event, so let's go check it out. I never, ever, ever do you wrong. I will always, always, always do you wrong. The ceremony to seal the marital union between Oludami Lola Oshimbajo, daughter of the Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshimbajo and Olusheun Bakari, son of businesswoman Haji Abola Shagaya, began with a private traditional event held on Thursday the 15th of March at the Presidential Villa in Abuja. Two days later, the celebration continued with a church ceremony at the National Ecumenical Center in Abuja. Even here, both families opted for a very private event, but our cameras were able to capture the arrival of some of those prominent on the guest list, including former head of state, General Yakub Gawan, former first lady of Nigeria, Mrs. Patience Jonathan, speaker of the House of Representatives, Yakub Dugaran wife, the governor of Lagos State, Akimumi Ambodi and wife, Bolanli, Ogun State governor, Ibukuli Amosu and wife, Olufunsho, Governor of Imo State, Rochas Okorocha, and wife, Inkechinyere. Governor of Bielsa State, Sarah Kedixon. APC National Chairman, John Oyegu. The Governor of Akwaibom State, Udom Emmanuel. The President of Dangote Group, Alhaji Aliku Dangote. Chairman of Forty Oil, Femi Otedola. The Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emiefele. Former Military Administrator of Lagos State, retired Commodore Ibitu Ukiwe and wife, the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adeboye and wife, Pastor Folu, Princess Abba Folawiyo, the vice chairman of the Channels Media Group, Mrs. Shola Momo, Dr. Yemisi Abebe, wife of the governor of Oyo State, Mrs. Florence Ajimobi, as well as other high-profile guests. The mother of the groom, Chief Mrs. Bola Shagaya, also makes her grand arrival.
the groom, Olusion Bakare, is all set for this important milestone in his life. And here comes the bride, Oludamilola Oshimbajo. The proud father, Vice President Professor Yemi Oshimbajo, is ready to lead his daughter to the altar. Her chief bridesmaid, younger sister Kiki, and her mother, Dolapo Oshimbajo, are making sure the bride is good to go. Pictures tell this part of the story as Oludamilola's father leads her straight to the altar where she exchanged vows with Olushion, promising to spend the rest of their lives together. After the ceremony, they step out as Mr. and Mrs. Olushion Bakari. I just hope they do fine in their marriage without problem, bought themselves good children, and then, you know, life be good for them, and be progressive. That's all they need. Once they have a peaceful and loving marriage, that's all. They must be happy till the end of their lives. That's what it takes. God bless for the parents of the bride and groom, and God bless for the, uh, the, you know, the bride and groom. Uh, and I wish them a really happy and successful life. I wish them the very best of luck. They should avoid the tumult, as has been said in the church. And in addition to that, they should remember that all of us are actually praying for them. The Lord will bless and keep and uphold them. The couple get into their car and everyone else moves to the reception held at the presidential villa. The Emir of Kano, Muhammad Ibsanusi II, and the chairman, Channel's Media Group, Mr. John Momo, were seen as they arrived at the reception. The President, Mohamed Buhari, led other top government officials and captains of industry to the reception. He was accompanied by his wife, Aisha. They spent the rest of the day with a lovely couple as well as other guests. At the reception, the couple cut their beautiful cakes and one of them was baked by the bride's mother, Mrs. Dolapo Shimbajo. She shared the entire baking process of the four-tier cake on social media. 
It was exquisitely designed in white and yellow with two wedding rings on top. Mrs. Oshimbaja wrote, The cake I baked and decorated for my daughter's wedding day. I trimmed the cake board with crochet. The things our great mothers taught us. Hashtag from mother to daughter. Hashtag pass it on. Hashtag love baking. Hashtag love crochet. From the pictures, it's clear the couple and everyone else here had a great time. We wish Ulu Shion and Ulu Damilola all the best in their marriage. We say congratulations oh. to the couple and the parents of the day. I mean, sure. pure joy for you to bake the cake of your own daughter's if wedding. If you ask me, what could be more fulfilling? Amen. <laughs> we say congratulations to them once again.